The couple was walking down 7th Street Sunday afternoon after just leaving a bar. They were heading toward the bus stop here. That's when they encountered a group of teens. And one of the teens allegedly yelled out at them, monkeypox, followed by a homophobic slur. After that, when the couple turned around, is when police say the attack began. One of them comes, comes up to me and punches me in the jaw, uh, giving me a gash right here that needed about three stitches. Antonio, who did not want to show his face or for us to use his first name, is still in pain. His sandals and his shirt still covered in blood from the attack. He says his boyfriend is also bruised up. After that moment, I'm in shock. I started noticing that I'm covered in blood. Um, uh, I, take, I, I didn't realize how bad my lip was until other people saw it. I thought it was just like, you know, a cut on my face. News 4 obtained the DC police report. Investigators say they're looking at whether hate was the potential motive. The first moment I was just angry and I was just like, what, what kind of ignorance is this? Antonio says he's heard slurs before, but this is the first time he's experienced anything like this. I'm not shocked by it. I am, I think like it's been a buildup over the past couple of, uh, you know, like months and years of conversations we've had about OGT people. It can happen here. News 4 spoke to an ER doctor about the stigma surrounding monkeypox back in July. He feared something like this would happen and reminds people that the LGBTQ community has faced this before. We also have the potential of violence against those communities that are stigmatized. Again, that happened in HIV and AIDS, and I'm afraid we may see some of that now. MPD says it's still on the lookout for the suspects. Antonio describes the teen who hit him as a five foot nine male who is wearing black jeans and a black shirt. While his wound will heal, Antonio says he's angry that he's lost a sense of security. Uh, walking around there now, just, you know, always like feeling like you got to like watch your back now. In Northwest, Mauricio Casillas, News 4. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.